In this video, we will be fixing this form. As you can see, the menu is pushed down by the by the right, and the, the form is the project create form. All right. So we need to look at the code and see what's causing this to go down, and um, fix it. So if you go to the code, the project create the plate. The first thing you notice is that we have an a hidden input field that passes in the ID of the company. And we're also seeing that if the ID of the company doesn't exist, we should list all companies. So uh, we need to put another if statement here so that the two of them can be happening at the same time, all right? So we, uh, we are simply going to check if the company ID exists. So if we have, I'll do an end if. All right, so if company ID is equal to null, that is, if companies is not listed, then we use this field. But if it is listed, we use this one. Then one other thing we have to do is that this is the field that is pushing uh, this thing down because it doesn't have the form control class. So we need to add the form control class. So we do a class, even though it's hidden, uh, according to Bootstrap, it still needs a class. So we'll do a class, and uh, the class will be form group right not really it's supposed to be form group form control so let's see if form control class actually sorts it out because um from what we have here the that particular field is shooting out, shooting out like this so let us try and refresh and see what will happen so as you can see it fixes it so even though the field is hidden, it was preventing this one from um, being on top. So now we have a good field that is um, ready to run. Uh, let us try and see if this form can submit. So to do that, we will do we'll create a dummy project under Berkshire Hathaway. The dummy project should be um, uh, Dave's um, Git repo. And then this is an ultimate git repo to kill all reports so this is the project that we're working on under Berkshire Hathaway and I'll click submit as you can see this time it submits and um, but it heads into a dead page so let's refresh as you can see it's telling us to refresh um, we'll refresh Let's list. Let me just click this and list uh, a list of our projects. As you can see, they didn't work. What we'll do is try and create again. Click on create new. We stayed too long on the page and um, we got Dave's Git repo, the ultimate Git repo. We'll treat this further down the tutorials, uh, prevented from giving us that error of running to um, a dead page. So, as you can see, it worked. Uh, if you go to our, our, our controller, we'll see why we are we are outputting this instead of the correct page, because we are the ones that did it. If we go to our projects controller and go to show, and go to show, you see that we're doing this, so we should remove it. If we remove it, the page will work perfectly well. Refresh. And as you can see, project created successfully, Dave's Git repo, the ultimate repo, and then I, people can add comments, all right? So uh, we'll, we'll get back to these comments in the next video where we'll try and um, list comments. Uh, in the past video, we added comments and it works, so we'll list comments, all right? And also we'll remove this uh, add project link. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.